Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Bazaria, where the end game is upon us. We can go and defeat Artorius and Anominat at last. However, first of all, as is customary for most games, especially Tales, a ton of side quests appear, of which we have to clear. And there's probably more side quests out there across the land if we just go to visit every town. So with that said, we've completed beating Phoenix here in Titania as our last task. And now we move on. I think Assault is one of our major areas to head to. So let's get moving. Yeah. Phoenix is finally gone! It's okay for you to come out now, Grimoire! <sighs> He's so stuffy, as always, that he made me sweat, and I was even hiding. Now that I think about it, neither of you showed your faces when Phoenix was here, did you? Why wouldn't you two want to see a fellow Norman? <sighs> I guess that asks for an explanation. All right, I think I can tell you now anyway. Broadly speaking, Norman fall into two different categories. Dog Norman and Cat Norman. The ones who like to be around humans, like Phoenix, are your dog types. The ones who prefer to stick around objects and places are the cat types. I've heard people say that dogs get attached to the human and cats get attached to the home. So, since Mogulus relied on you a lot over the years, does that make you a dog, Norman? Uh, no, not really. My powers actually work with Miss Mogulus' guardians, not Miss Mogulu herself. That makes me a cat type. Though, actually, considering how I serve a witch, I'd be a cat type either way. Anyway, back on topic. Dog Norman like to live among lots of humans in comfort and style. Cat Norman like me and Grimoire would rather live in forests and ruins and pass our time in idle leisure. Some, ourselves included, don't conform with expectations, instead choosing to live as we please alongside humans. What does this have to do with wanting to avoid Phoenix? There's a gap between us that can't be bridged. Like the difference between sky blue and sea blue. Come on, aren't sky blue and sea blue basically the same color? Maybe to your untrained eye, but to those who care, there's a perceptible difference in hue, slight though it might be. Whatever it is that separates them is impossible to overcome. I didn't realize it could be such a big deal. Let me ask you guys this. Are pudding and custard the same? No, definitely not. If I ordered one, I wouldn't want to be served the other. Those still sound more or less the same to me, too. Hmm. What if I said it was like the difference between sherbet and sorbet? Oh, yeah, there is a difference there. Although I usually can't remember which is which. So, like the difference between a hoagie and a sub sandwich? But those two are the same. Anyway, you get the point now, surely. We've long had our differences, and they put us in perpetual conflict. But what good does that do? Actually, on that note, is Aizen's sister going to be okay with Phoenix around? That much I wouldn't worry about. He can be obnoxiously brash and talks a lot of nonsense sometimes. But if nothing else, Phoenix has a strong sense of responsibility. Rest assured, she's in good hands. Although if you work him too hard, he'll start making speeches about uprisings and insurrections and all that stuff. What was that conversation? Stupid. I don't know. Cat, dog, Normans. It, it's like in chat, this sounds complicated. Why not just say introverts and extroverts? Makes sense. Boat, boat, boat. <laughs> Take a look at this. She's uh, being drained. Yeah, sorry, it's been a hard day. Yes, Show go how back I there. Excellent. Now, where the heck are we going? Uh, Isolt seems like a good place. There's also this Terror Island, I think, is another place that we opened up. Though it doesn't seem that we could go on a list. To Terror Island. Uh, skip. Well, there's gonna be tons now. It's the end game. I heard you guys found Terror Island. Is that true? Yes, First Mate. It was moving around, just like the legends say. We left a team on the island to track its movements. Then they'll lead us right to it. Excellent. Don't think the cat we'll has take the Von Eltia there. Aren't you rushing things a bit? We don't even know what's on the island. It's too dangerous. I'm aware of the dangers. 
but I can't abandon my crew on that island. You can grumble all you want, but I'm going. Ugh, yeah. I figured there wouldn't be much use in trying to persuade you. Yeah, Becca's, Becca's ruined my character again. Right, we yeah. can go to Terra Island, can we? Yeah. It's probably going to be some kind of like cutesy paradise or some rubbish like that. Would you like to go there now? Yeah, why not? I mean, it, it can't kill us, can it? He says. What drink do you have? Hey, lemon. Hmm. What, what the hell? <laughs> Hooey! Now this is mighty rare. Looks like we got ourselves even more guests. Welcome y'all to Norman Island. Y'all must be right tuckered out from all that traveling. Why don't you take a load off, sit for a spell, and have a snack? Wait, did you say Norman Island? You heard right! This island is homeland for all us Norman! It's good to be back. I haven't been here for at least 1,500 years. Aww! It's you, Grimoire! How you been? It's good to see you! And you. If you guys knew what this place was all along, why didn't you say something sooner? Well, Eisen just sounded so cool talking about venturing into the unknown and all that, so I didn't want to burst his bubble. Sometimes it's good to let someone dream, no matter how far-fetched said dream might actually be. <sighs> This island is way too good to be true, first mate. Ah, everything's so nice and laid back here. I could just relax like this for a thousand years. So, when people say this place absorbs power from all existence, this is what they meant? Well, they're not wrong, I guess. So, what should we do? Do you really think it's okay to mark this island on the map? Let's not. I got a feeling this might be one of those places that's best kept a secret. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, so much for Terror Island, I guess. You and your eyebrows giving everyone expressions. Well, our map is complete now, supposedly. Hooray! But, yeah. Is this pudding or poo? Uh, pudding? Pudding! I don't know, is it custard or pudding? There's a weird noise as I walk. Yes. It's like made out of cake. Mm, it's like a Mario level. This is kind of a bit, yeah. yeah. I guess it's sponge. Wait, wait, wait. Look um, at them. There. Where? 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 Ooh, ice gems. Cabbage, actually. <laughs> I think you'll find that was cabbage you picked up. Yeah, but there's ice gems there. They move, though. Ooh, everything's made of Ice gems are horrible. But people have them as a hairstyle now. They do? What a time to be alive. Yay. We did it. We completely filled in the world map. That took a lot of work. Nicely done. It's a good start, at least. A good start? You mean there's more? It's true that we completely explored the outer seas that surround Midgand. But for all we know, a whole new ocean might be waiting on the other side of the far continent. And we've only searched the surface of the outer seas. Who knows what sleeps beneath its waters? I guess an explorer's job is never done. Is that a hint of greed I detect? <laughs> I thought Malakim were above all that. You guys have lost me again. Well, Malakim can live for thousands of years. I'm sure you'll finish your map one day. Assuming you don't become a dragon first. If that happens, it happens. What matters most isn't that you make your dreams come true. It's... It's that you pursue them alongside your friends. Right? Oh, look at you, kiddo. You stole Aizen's line right out from under him. Oh, uh... Sorry, Aizen. <laughs> don't worry about it. I really enjoyed making this map with you guys. Yeah, me too. I don't know how far I'll be able to go. 
But it's always about the journey, not the destination. He's definitely got Dragonitis. They've kind of mentioned, like, things like that twice now. In short succession, to do with Norman. They're in a cup of tea. I'm getting a bit tired of just lazing about on this island. It's boring here. How long have you been lazing about? Hmm, about a thousand years, I think. That is a long time to not do anything. Then again, it'd be terrible to have a mean old tyrant of a master, like what happened to Bienfu. Oh, can I just make a pact with a nice girl who will pamper me all day? If she was real pretty, I wouldn't even care if she liked making terrible puns. Um, I think you're setting yourself up for a letdown. Yes. So this candy cane ladder. We've got random dollops of ice cream. Boing. Spinach is just randomly on the ground in the sweet land. Ooh. I ran into Zavid a little bit ago. He had a kid Moloch along with him. He said he saved the kid from a demon. Zavid has a soft spot for children. That's what I heard. It was freezing cold that night, but he gave his coat to the kid to wear. You should have seen it. He was naked from the waist up. But as cold a night as it was, Zavid had this big smile plastered on his face. He laughed and said, I don't mind the cold. Besides, what's a little cold wind to Zavid the whirlwind? He's like made of cheese, isn't he really? Bow. Jelly? Bow, 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 bow. Are we on gelatin? Hmm. Oh, this is the fishing. The crap fishing. I love the crap fishing. We'll do the crap no, fishing. No, don't do the crap fishing. Oh, thank you for the subscribe. Thank you very thank much, you. kids. Here. Three months in a row. <laughs> Stop doing the crap fishing. Crap fishing. Why? Why is this a thing? The sea cucumber. Is it like... Better some places than others? No. No. There's, I imagine there's an achievement for getting all the best catches, but the best catches would be completely randomised. That guy's become one with the ice gems. His shadow is sort of vis visible. Onwards. Maybe you can slight, so maybe they're slightly translucent. I don't know. Thank you for another subscribe thingy. And Pokemon! For five months in a row. They're all getting all the stuff on now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anything secret back here? Of course there is. There's a candy cane ladder. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, a billion. Actually, it does need loads. 525 and we got 495. <laughs> Did you hear? Phoenix found a new purpose and he's real fired up about it. Will he be all right? You know how he can get a little too fixated on his ideas. I just hope he's with someone nice. Either way, I'm still worried. Phoenix has a habit of letting his excitement get the better of him. Should we go check in on him? I'm curious about what's going on in the human world, too. Yeah, good idea. I was getting bored of just sitting around here. Let's go. Then it's settled. Let's call everyone together and make it a big trip. Don't they like their land of basically living on cake? Is there grass growing on top of the ah. stuff though? Does that make it mold? I remember when I was a kid, I used to have like an Animals of Farthingwood magazine I would buy every week. And one week it described how you could make this weird pond pudding by doing. I remember that. Like, I had Animals of Farthingwood. You'd have to like have a marzipan base and then you'd fill it up with green jelly and put lily pads of marzipan on top. Yeah, I remember. It was the most grotesque, horrible pudding that my parents ever suffered through for the sake of what me and my sister wanted to make. It was awful. I hate marzipan. Why did we make them do that? Ugh. So I suppose we're just walking on a giant pond pudding. Pretty much. Yo. Come on, come on, let's have some fun. They've got my horns. Is it Norman here? This is a new minigame. What is? What are we doing? I don't know. Are we matching them? I don't know. You've got to press the button, obviously. Hello. Now what are you doing? I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's a miss. 
What? A shuffling. What? You're terrible at this, God. What? Okay, try two of the red ones. No, they're different. Yeah. That's different one again. That's different again. Be surprised. Wait, they're all different. Maybe it's not to do with the colour. Maybe it's to do with the lying down. The emotes. Oh, it's like a weird game of snap. Only it's with emotes. Oh, God, this is horrible. <laughs> Run away. Forfeit. Probably press start. Uh, it even has weird music. Don't like. It's got game show music. We'll make Sam do that later. Ah. Ha ha Right. Well, it seems like Terror Island actually doesn't have that much to it. What's this? Another path! Just when you thought we'd seen it all. We go down another weird place. Chocolate... Waterfall! Oh yeah, because I did notice there was a yeah. guy you could talk to down here. Is, is, oh, that's where the Gia board is. Yeah. Oh, what? skip! Skip! <laughs> Wee! Well, I feel like this is going to be a good place to come back to when I need a break. This is inconsequential. This place is rubbish. It's rubbish. It's perfect for leaving Sam here like a daycare crash thing. Thank you, honey. Right, let's go back to the boat then. Terror Island has proved to be non-terrorizing. It's a disappointment. Norman Land. With chocolate poo everywhere. Chocolate poo. Right then, so assault, I think, is where we want to go next. We just kept up with the Norman stuff. Well, let's get exploring, because there's uh, at least one thing to do here. Oh, wait, look, it's the cat. Oh. Well, hello there. I heard you woke the four Empyreans. I'm quite impressed. What do you want, Morgrim? I just came to pass on a little information to you. Specifically, that an Earth Pulse entrance has opened up. My oh. guess is that it opened when you chased a Nominat out. An Earth Pulse entrance, huh? We might be able to see more of the Earth in Historia. Indeed. If we could learn more about Artorias' past, it might give us a hint about how to take on a Nominat. That's just what she wants us to think. Anyone else smell a trap? I don't think we have to worry about that. Are you sure? She could have loathed any form of trickery. If Morgrim was that kind of Moloch, he would have struck her down long ago. I appreciate your confidence in me. What you do with the information is up to you. Where is this entrance? It's at the Shrine of Tranquility, in a ball. You must have learned about this from the Abbey. Why pass it on to me? No special reason. I just happened to think of Lord Artorius's Molek. I thought it might be nice if I could help you learn a little more about her. You mean Ceres? All right. I'll check it out. Okay, that's another quest we've gained by the look of it. Quest, quest, quest. So is there something else? Yes, it's in the main town. That in wasn't what we came for. Town. That wasn't what we came for at all. That's an addition. Bah. Right. Probably go ahead down a level to see more markers on the map. Yeah, there's one. All the way over there. I can't remember what we've come here for now, thinking about it. Ooh, but I know there's souls. quest lead in there. This person. I hear there's one really passionate Lady Teresa fan in Helavis. But I'm not going to lose to a poser like him. <laughs> Lady Teresa's true allure isn't in those frozen eyes. You can't say you understand her if that's all you see. But I do. Only I understand her true appeal. Do you want to know what it is? Wincest. Um, well, I don't think I really care. Do you? Huh? Of course you do. Um, okay, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll tell you. Teresa's true allure is in that tinge of sadness hidden within her lovely face. Even when she's smiling, there's a touch of melancholy that never leaves her. It's like her heart is somewhere else, somewhere distant. 
So where is it? With her love, her true love, the true love she's yet to meet. How tragic! She suffers, lamenting the love she cannot find, yet doesn't realize that the very man she seeks is so near. Hey, That's why I watched over her so dearly. And then it happened. It was a day I'll never forget. What happened? She was off duty, frolicking in the waves by Maclear Beach. That alabaster skin, how pure she looked in her swimsuit. This guy is really, really creepy. Yeah. Seriously creepy. Hey, what's with that cold look? I feel bad for Teresa. She had to protect creeps like this guy, too. What cold, cold eyes you have. Velvet, Eleanor, quickly, avert your gaze! If you keep looking at him with disgust and disdain, you'll only stimulate this perverted freak! Come on, everyone. Let's go. No, come back! Please, scorn me! Despise me! Boat, boat, okay, boat. <laughs> save. <laughs> what is this? Save me, boat, is it? Yes. We won. Yeah. We actually get any new stuff though. No. Scout ship. Scout ship. Right. Let's head to the next area of assault. I'm pretty sure we came up with something. Yeah. Well, you can check on the map, can't you? No. 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 Don't bother then. I won't. Okay. <laughs> Just get. Single salt, single salt. It's all of me mine. Single no, salt, all of single mine. salt. I have a quick look in here just in case. Oh, there's loads. There we go. See, I oh, you know stuff. Haria village getting wiped out by demon blight. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Like, if they had abandoned their faith in Nominoch and moved to Assault, they might have been saved. I'm glad they didn't come here. They deserved it. It's their punishment for heresy. How could you? No one deserves that fate. But didn't that priestess and her daughter turn first? That's what caused it to spread. But look at us here in Isolt. Not a single case of demon blight. That's the only possible explanation. They were crazy to resist the Abbey. Shame on you. Don't speak ill of the dead. No one wants to become a demon. I had a friend in Haria. She was a good person. Whether she believed okay. in Ominoch or Inominat, she was a person just like us. Our islands were her home. Perhaps I have no right to say anything here, but please, don't ever lose that kind heart of yours. That's the best way you can honor the memory of Haria's people. I won't. I'll go there soon with an offering of flowers. Right, so now the judgmental preacher man. Who haven't we talked to like a billion times by now? Yes. Repent. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Why are you whispering? Because everyone else in your group has been nothing but trouble. Not a single one of them will truly repent. What kind of place do they think this holy sanctuary is? I don't know what to tell you. You'll have to take it up with them. I can't. You know what they're like, right? If I complain about it to them, they'll just beat the stuffing out of me. I wish I could tell you that deep down they're all good people, but... <sighs> That's why you need to confess something. What? Why me? Please, I just want to hear a legitimate confession for once. If you don't hurry up, I'll put a curse on you. <sighs> oh, all right. I'm so sorry for all the trouble that my companions have caused you, Father. Forgive me. No, that's not going to work. I guess I'm not quite in the mood to forgive that yet. <laughs> well, maybe you should repent for being such a petty, mean old priest! Yeah. Mind ah. you, if what he is is petty, he's not the worst priest that we've heard about. Do 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 do. do 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 right right let's find what we came here for which I'm not allowed to see in the map menu because Becca says no not pig Becca pig what say no what see we've had people in the chat saying that we could skip some of these dialogues just saying no they haven't <laughs> I swear we did no yeah. When? 
I think I'd be okay with Becca skipping these dialogues. Oh, okay. But some of them might lead to more stuff. Like, They'd still work, even if you skip them. Like the cats did. Yeah, but you just skip them, and then you've still triggered them. No, you can't skip them. Triggered. There might be something serious. God. Right, let's talk to this bloke. Another day without a wild penguin sighting. How are things looking at the penguin farm? Not good. They're still listless. I tried changing their feed, but they barely touched it. With the weather what it is, the sea temperature has gone down. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe so. I've been pulling up different fish around here lately, too. And get this, I found a Kraken Queen in my nets the other day. Normally, you only find them in the Northern Oceans. Kraken Queen? If this keeps up, Isolt's fishing industry is in dire peril. We've got to do something about this. Fishermen and penguin farmers. We should all get together and have a meeting to figure out what to do. By the way, you get smacked about by that Kraken Queen? Oh, yeah. Those long whip-like tentacles did a number on me. I loved every moment of it. <laughs> oh, man! Lucky! I should take the boat out tomorrow, see if I can catch one. I still don't get it. But as long as they're having fun. Okay, then. I'm still, Indeed. I'm still Everyone not sure we found what we came own. here for, Becca. So can you look at the map, please? <laughs> <laughs> right. Talk to the promoter you salt stop. We went past that guy. I guess I'll go back to the dock then. But I didn't see anyone that was saying to do anything. There was no skip person. Maybe he doesn't have a thing above his head. Maybe you just have to read the quest thing. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Chicken and gravy. Ooh Might be stuff in the inn as well. In 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 in. Yum. That's, that's not the inn. <laughs> I remembered it being in a different place for some reason. Yes, there is. Ah! Only from that side. Hey, have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking penguin around. I didn't know penguins could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Moggy Lou's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local legend has it that when the end times come, a talking penguin will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone who's encountered this penguin has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure it's not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia! Is that supposed to be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but whatever you do, you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? Is that being added to our quest log by any chance? Probably. Oh, wait a second, we can sleep at the inn. We've got to turn it on to night now. Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're going to look for that talking penguin, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. Okay. Look, Velvet! There's a penguin! Think it might- Yeah. Oh, good evening. Lovely nice weather, tea. isn't it? It really talked! I can't believe it. Something I eat can talk. Huh? Wait, do you guys eat us penguins too? <sighs> Why does it matter? Please, answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but yes, I eat them. And I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that. Oh, and what's a cutesy little penguin like you plan on doing about us big bad humans? Uh... It's gonna poop. Where's his eyebrows? <gasps> he's not Jude, he's an imposter. We should beat him up. Ah! 
We're the real Jude. We've got the eyebrows. Okay, Jude's here. That's weird. It's weak to fire. Let's kill Jude. What the hell are you? I'm sorry for deceiving you all, but I can't let you hurt any more Pengyons. Take this! Then poor Pengyon. It's my old character. He's okay. Now, rise. Why are we fighting, Jude? I think he actually did used to like Pengyons. I'm not sure. Is that a thing? I don't know myself. Well, we're just roasting him. Becca's beating the crap out of him. Yeah, you keep killing him, Becca. I'll just stand back here and do the caster thing. Why is he after me? Just set him on fire again. The randomest dude ever. It's not as good as you. No, he's not. I kill you all. Ah! Did he used to say that? Final Fury! Oh, maybe. I barely hurt! Dude, you've been slacking! Oh, we gotta finish Roth. Oh, we failed. Sorry, dude.